Hey guys, I know you're uh, about to get started on the lower limb, and so you're going to learn about something called the uh, lumbar sacral plexus. And um, when I was doing this section of the class, I looked for something online to learn all of it, but I couldn't really find anything that combined both the lumbar and the sacral plexus, so I made up this uh, mnemonic and things to um, help me learn it, and maybe it'll help a few of you guys. So um, let me explain what you're looking at here on the screen. So over here on the left, um, is the mnemonic you can use to memorize all of the nerve names. So it is Saturday, I interview great lady fighters. On Sunday, I can take pain pills. So the way I remember that is if on Saturday you're interviewing some ladies who are great fighters, then that means um, on Sunday you're going to have to take some pain medication. So it's pretty easy to remember. And that's going to give you the names of um, all the roots for the lumbar sacral plexus. And then um, I've written here the roots for all of them and then the number of roots. So the way you're going to use these two pieces of information to um, remember everything on the day of your test is um, first you memorize the pattern for the roots. And uh, the way you do that is by looking at the last root in the set of roots for any named nerve. So there's a pattern between those. That's why you choose the last root. So t that would be you know T12, L1, L1, L2, L3, etc. So I've written the pattern down here for you for the last root um, for all the sets of nerves. So the pattern for that is going to be T12, L1, L1, L2, L3, L4, L4, S1, S2, S2, S3, S3, S4. So I wrote right here the easy way to remember that. Starting with T12 one time, everything else is two times except L2, L3, S1, S4. You also have to remember that L5 and S5 are not included as uh, terminal roots on the plexus at all, so those are excluded from your count here. You'll notice that they go in order, so if you just remember this little rule, it's pretty easy to remember all those terminal nerve roots. Uh, the second thing you're going to have to remember, remember to uh, get all these down before your test is the number of roots that are associated with uh, each of these named nerves, and then you can use that number to count backwards from the, the root you memorized um, to get all of the nerve roots. So this has a pretty easy pattern also. One, two, one, two, two times, three, four times, four, five, three, three. So if you use that information combined, you can say on your test, recall this mnemonic, recall all the names, write down the latter or the uh, last nerve root, so T12, L1, L1, L2, L3, L4, L4, S1, S2, S2, S3, S3, S4. Then this pattern that you memorized here for the number of nerve roots, you'll remember, say, for pudendal, that there are three roots associated with it. So you have S4 written down already. Now you count backwards, S4, S3, S2. Now you have the whole set of nerve roots. Um, or spinal roots that contribute to the pedendal nerve. So I hope this helps some of you guys out. And um, obviously, if you see any errors on this, um, let everyone know. But I think uh, I checked it over, and it looks pretty good. So good luck on your last test.